my loves, welcome back to another video. So I'm looking really rough today. I just kind of in the spur of the moment thought I'd film. I'm not feeling all that great today. I just don't feel very confident. I don't feel very happy in myself. I just, do you ever have those moments or those days where you just feel like shit? Like you just genuinely don't want to get out of bed in the morning, just would rather just curl up on the sofa with a quilt and just watch really bad TV and just kind of get through the day. That has been my morning this morning and it's not productive. It's not great, it's not a great mindset. And you know, I just, I've just been feeling like it for a few days and I don't know if it's because you know, time of the month, or is it just a general, you know, seasonal thing, or, you know, it could be many, 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 many things, and I just feel so silly complaining because people have worse things in life than, you know, feeling a bit rubbish in the morning, so I just needed to kind of get myself out of whatever funk I was in, and I'm trying, I really am trying, and I just think, I just... Lately I just haven't really been feeling confident in myself, like there's just loads of things that I just wish I could change and quite quickly and one of those things is my hair. So I just, it's kind of at a weird stage so I cut all my hair off and it was looking all lovely and I loved it and now it's kind of like growing out because I really, I want to regrow my hair, like I really miss my long hair but it, uh, it serves me right because I didn't take care of my hair after I dyed it blonde and it was like bleach blonde and then it went a little bit gingery which just was not nice you can see Echo in the background she just follows me everywhere and I just I ever since I've done that it's kind of just destroyed my hair that was earlier this year and I mean January this year I did that and then like I've still got like the remainders of this warm bits of my hair and it's just a bit so I just drove to Morrison's and decided to pick up just a hair dye and I thought I would actually dye my hair on camera and just have a bit of a chit chat. I don't do these videos very often and I think sometimes it's nice to strip back and rather than having a everything's all amazing and this is my life and blah 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 type video I thought it'd be actually quite nice to just have a coffee catch up style video and I'm gonna dye my hair. So. If you want to see my hair, hopefully, going back to brunette, or the darkest brown I could find, then uh, keep watching, guys. <laughs> Let's hope this works. I mean, I really don't know what it's going to look like. It might make me look awful, but I just want to go back dark blonde, and I've started getting a few little greys now, because obviously, I'm 30, so I'm not surprised I'm starting to get the old grey hair, but I just want to kind of... Just go back all one colour and just feel a bit more like me. So I purchased the Garnier Nutrice Cream Nourishing Permanent Hair Colour. And this obviously covers up to 100% grey coverage. So if you've got grey hair and you need to, you know, cover those bits, this hopefully is a good one. It says it's got a nourishing additioner, natural brown result, up to eight weeks anti-dryness, stronger hair, less breakage, three times shinier long lasting brown yeah so i'm probably going to be the darkest of the dark because my hair is actually already n dark on top so we will see but then it says there's four oils in the conditioner so avocado oil olive oil sheer sheer oil and cranberry oil so this cost me five pounds 65 by the way gary's sister usually dyes my hair but I just, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait to kind of book in with her. So I decided to just go and do it myself. So inside you get the developer cream. You get the nourishing color cream, which I think you put this in here, but we'll find that out. And then you get the conditioner and some gloves which I'll need, I'll take off my rings as well. Okay, so it also comes with instructions, which I'm definitely going to need, because I haven't dyed my hair myself in about 10 years. So I'm just gonna take my rings off, because I don't want uh, any hair dye going in my wedding bands or anything. I can't believe I've been married almost a year, in about two weeks, and I need to get Gary something for our anniversary, and for one year it's paper, so 
I'm not sure what to get yet. I've been, I've got a few ideas, but we'll see. Okay, so first things first, it says get ready, prepare, and mix up the colour. So it is these two. So it says you unscrew the cap on the applicator bottle. And then open the colour cream tube and remove the plastic ring. Like so, I guess. And then you screw the cap back on to pierce the tube, apparently. And then remove the cap and squeeze the entire contents of the colour cream tube into the applicator bottle. So now that's done, you squeeze all into here. Just, I'm just so bored of of my hair and just I just want my confidence back a bit. And it sounds pathetic probably, but we all have those days I think and I always find that cutting my hair or dyeing my hair or doing something that's new kind of makes me feel good again. So now all that's squeezed into here. It says, re-screw the cap onto the applicator bottle and shake the mixture vigorously for 30 seconds to ensure, ensure the mixture is even. I dropped it and the lid came off. So now that's all done. I've just picked up a comb, just in case I want to like try and make sure it's all even in my hair, but I don't know whether that's the right thing to do. I'm going to just pop a towel around me. So don't get anything on my clothes. And this is one of Gary's old t-shirts, but still, you may want it back one day. <laughs> right, so I'm ready. I'm just gonna actually brush my hair and give myself a middle part in. I can't wait for my hair to grow back normal. And long, I just miss the length. Like, it's just, see what I mean? It's just a bit blech just ready to go back to normal. Right, so now I've parted my hair. Do you see what I mean with the mismatch of colours? I just over it. Gloves on. Apply immediately onto dry unwashed hair. So what I'm going to do is actually going to do it in layers. I'm going to start on my middle part and then try and like probably comb it down and then just start adding it as I go along. So I'm just going to take this and I'm actually going to look in this mirror, so I'll zoom you in, so you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it, but I need to see myself. So I'm just literally putting it on the party. Pushing it down like so. It applies it evenly, and I'm just going to just part the hair and just pull it all in. See, it's easy just to squirt on, I think. Oh, it doesn't sound too bad, though. I'm going to put it on my glove. And just do that to get it on all the ends of the hair. You want to try and really get in there so you get all your roots. You don't want it to be patchy. I'm very excited to have dark hair again if it goes right.
Look, it's gone all over my face. <laughs> I think I'd have to try and get all that off, but... Oh, and I can clean all the sides. Right, so I've pretty much now used everything that's in there. I'm going to quickly make sure there's nothing, no areas missing. Quickly like rub it in. All even in there. I'm actually going to take these gloves off because it says now leave to develop for 25 minutes so what I'm going to do is just take these gloves off clip my hair up and then clean all my sides so it doesn't stain anything and then I'll jump back on camera once I've washed it all off actually I'll show you the colour in 25 minutes and then I'll wash all my hair off and then We'll see. Fingers crossed. So now it's time to go and wash this out. It's literally, it's really dark. As you can see, it looks black. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's fine. Let's see how it all looks. So I've just washed it off in the in the bath here before I go and have a shower, and it's gone really, really, really dark. And I mean, I think it's more black than it is brown. But yeah, I don't think I mind it as of yet, but we'll see. I need to dry it. I need to go and put the conditioner in. I'm gonna go and jump in the shower and then properly do my hair and try and get all this dye off my face, which will be quite hilarious. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you. It's uh, pretty dark. It's a lot darker than my natural brown, but yeah that's fine we'll see so this is the final hair look guys i actually love it i know it's a lot darker than what i initially thought it would be but i do really really love being back dark look it's just even that small little change has made me feel so much better and happier and i just think it looks lovely sorry about the washing i know you can probably see it there it's wash day i mean i think pretty much every day at the moment is wash day in my house all I seem to do is washing and I don't know how I blame the dog because I feel like we wash all of our clothes every time that we wear them you know usually you can wear jeans like once twice maybe three times if you're pushing it but because of the dog like we have to wash our jeans like every time we wear them and jumpers and all sorts because obviously the I just don't want things to smell like dog. But anyway, that's besides the point and nothing to do with the hair. But I hope you like it. I am um, now I'm just gonna drink coffee and feel a lot better. And I just think I think for me, like I needed something different, something that makes me feel a bit more confident and happy and, and this has kind of just done that for me. I think I just I, I feel a lot better in myself. So yeah, well, if you're wondering what lipstick colour this is, it's uh, the Charlotte Tilbury sexy sienna lipstick it's one of my favorites i've had about three of these lipsticks in the last probably five years maybe maybe four years 
and I just am obsessed with this colour. It's usually like my summer colour, but I love when, I love wearing the shade when I've got dark hair, so I thought I'd rock it, and it goes well with my jumper. So, but yeah, it's not. I haven't really done anything to it. I've just kind of blow dried it. I don't know if you can see, but I've still got hair dye like here. I've got hair dye here. I can't get it off. I don't even know how to get it off. I mean, if you've got any tricks on how to actually remove hair dye from your face, let me know. Put it in the description box below. Can you see Echo? Her little like beds there. She loves it. She's obsessed. I will be doing more videos with her. I am thinking about whether or not I want to start doing more vlogs. I was thinking maybe a monthly vlog. I don't know if my friends would actually like to be on camera. So I never try to pressure them or put them in any of my videos and I know Gary's not really a huge fan like he doesn't mind if it's like travel vlogs or like walking the dog but I don't know how he'd feel about being in an actual video and like my brother is because I forced my brother to be in a lot of my travel videos because we travel a lot together and yeah he has no choice really but I just don't know I, I, I am thinking about doing more vlogs I think it would be really good to share that bit of my life especially now we've got Echo and she's growing and growing and growing and growing and I mean she's a pain in the bum but she's so amazing at the same time it's a bit like having a what I would imagine having a child would be like or how I envisage having a child would be they're needy but anyway lovely but needy so yeah I am thinking about doing monthly vlogs I am planning on booking New York so obviously for my birthday I've got some like, quite a bit of money or friends and family and I'm going to be putting that towards a trip to New York next year which I think my brother is coming with me not Gary because Gary said he's not interested in going to New York now he'd rather go to Canada so we're going to do potentially do something different I don't know what our plan is because we have to rebook our honeymoon as well we went to Sri Lanka for our honeymoon and it was the day before the bombings happened so we were stuck in Sri Lanka during the bombings so it was a really scary time and not a time that I even like to think about but obviously we didn't get a honeymoon so I think we're going to rebook one for next year or something like it we're going to book a trip away next year which will be essentially our honeymoon I think it'll be lovely but we do have quite a lot I think there's quite a lot that I could share but I always worry that it's not interesting enough and yeah I just don't want to talk loads on camera and it's just not interesting to you at all I do think I will do a monthly vlog and test it and see what you guys think and if you don't enjoy it or it like doesn't get many views or anything like that then maybe I don't do that type of video but I do feel like I should try thank you so much for watching and listening to me rant and one piece of advice I've been I've received and to be honest I've heard it a few times is that you cannot expect other people to make you happy like you have to be happy in yourself and until that point you can't make others happy so for me when i'm having down days and i feel you know as today like i felt really negative about myself it's not because of anybody else it's me like it's on myself so i you know i change my hair because it makes me feel happy and i think there's things that you need to do in your life changes that you need to make however big however small they may be you need to do it for yourself to make yourself happy and then only that way can you spread more love and positivity to others so i hope you take that away and i feel a lot better i know it's just a small change and it's just my hair but for me i you know it's a it's a big change for me because I feel more myself with darker hair. It just sounds crazy. Like I tried a few more things. I've, I've tried different things and I've, you know, since January, I've never really felt that confident in the way that I've looked. And that sounds really probably quite vain and, you know, not really a massive deal to anybody else other than myself. But I just think there's little things like, it might just be getting your hair cut or getting your hair coloured or whatever it may be, getting your nails done, you'll feel happier. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with all your friends and I'll see you next time. Bye!